טוב, בוקר טוב לכולם. ראשית כל תודה שבאתם ולהשתתף איתנו בכינוס הזה ביום ה-ALS הבינלאומי. וזה לא נורא שאנחנו קצת פחות כי זה משודר בחי, אז יראו אותנו הרבה יותר ואני בטוחה שיצטרפו עוד בדרך. ברשותכם אני אעבור לאנגלית, שוב, מכיוון שהכנס הזה משודר. Good morning and thank you for joining us to the ALS, at the ALS day, uh, a joint venture of the Segol School at Tel Aviv University and Price for Life. I think it's the right place at the right day to present um, our research. And um, just to introduce myself, I'm uh, Mira Markus Kalish. I'm uh, the coordinator of the, the director of the international uh, joint research collaboration. And this is the effort that we have to take. It's part of the president's office. And I think that's what we are trying at Tel Aviv University to move forward, to join all forces, like we did today. And I want to invite to open this uh, meeting, this uh, special ALS meeting, uh, with the head of the Segol School at the Neuroscience at Tel Aviv University, Professor uh, Uri Asheri. Please. Thank you, Mira. It's a great pleasure to open this uh, special uh, ALS Day in the part of the ALS International Day. It's a great pleasure to host here and to have this initiative uh, coming from uh, Mira, uh, Marcus, and uh, Neta Zak from uh, Price for Life, and together with Efrat uh, Karmi from uh, Israel S. And it's really important, as Mira said, to uh, bring uh, industry, organization, academy together in order to present uh, what we are doing. I think that uh, these two organizations, Price for Life and Israel S., are really important in order to, uh, to combat and to uh, allow more research in ALS. And in Tel Aviv University itself, there are at least uh, eight groups which are studying ALS. Four of them will be uh, presenting today. And this is part of an overall uh, activity of 120 pr uh, research groups which are coming from, from seven different faculties and 17 affiliated hospitals with the idea of understanding brain function and dysfunction, and ALS is one of the uh, topics. And I think that the second part of the day, uh, introducing new technology, is also very relevant since in the Segol School of uh, Neuroscience we opened two new programs for uh, bachelor uh, students. One of them is uh, psychology and computer science, and the other one is, in, is bi biomedical engineer and biology, and always emphasis in neuroscience. And I'm sure that these students in a couple of years will be able to join an uh, initiative like the Brains for uh, a Price for Life and help bringing both technology uh, how to deal with uh, big data, how to uh, introduce new engineer uh, 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 solution in order to uh, combat and help uh, ALS uh, patients. And uh, with that, I would like to uh, uh, call uh, Professor uh, Dani Chaimovic, the Dean of the Life Science Faculty, to say a few words, please. Um, when I was about 10 years old, uh, growing up in the United States, I saw a movie called The Pride of the Yankees. Now, I don't know if there's any other Americans here, but um, there's a fabulous movie about probably the greatest baseball player of all time named Lou Gehrig. And before the word ALS was on everyone's tongue, everyone knew about, in my generation, is knew about Lou Gehrig's disease. And so I can't really think of a disease that has had more... Um, popularity in terms of movies, in terms of sports, in terms of popular culture and science, and now with um, um, uh, Stephen Hawking, that, that really it's just pervaded our whole society. And no other disease that really, you know, that keeps the brain working while the body just deteriorates. So understanding how ALS progresses and how we can use technology to alleviate this, this affliction. You know, I can't think of a better, a better use of our resources at Tel Aviv University. And through t at Tel Aviv University, where we have this opportunity to both interact with basic research and with industry. And when we're talking about basic in research, both for the whole spectrum, from as we talked about, from engineering and basic biology and to medicine, um, this is what it's going to take in order to find some type of cure for ALS. And so I hope on this International ALS Day, in joining with groups all over the world 
in to raise public awareness that we can start another uh, layer of our research to find a cure for this disease. Thanks very much. Thank you, Danny, and we'll uh, open the day. I would like to uh, uh, welcome Professor Ilana Gozes, one of the uh, leaders in uh, uh, studying and finding uh, treatment for neurodegenerative disease of Tel Aviv University. Ilana, please join us to chair the first session. <laughs>